Today we're going to learn how to use Bias Soundsaver for import to record old LPs or cassettes. Before going any further, please check over the directions that were included with your import package so you can learn how to connect and configure the import and your sound control panel. In the Start screen, click the New Recording button and name your recording, or you can choose to open a previous Soundsaver for Import project for further editing. Then, connect the audio source to your computer. If necessary, see the connection diagram for more information on audio cable connections. Once connected, play your audio source and click the Auto Level button to set the proper input level. You can also set the level manually by adjusting the input level slider so that the loudest part of the audio you're recording falls between the two blue triangles that appear over the input level meters. If the recording level looks good, click the record button to get started, and then start playback of your source from the beginning. Don't worry if you record some dead air, we can edit that out later. You can also set a record timer to record for a specific length of time so you can walk away from your computer while it's recording and not have it fill up your hard drive. When you've recorded one side of your LP or cassette, click the stop pause button, flip the record or tape, and then click the append button to continue recording. You can also simply let SoundSaver keep recording while you flip the LP or cassette. It's easy to edit that silence out later. When you've finished recording, move on to the clean screen where you can clean up clicks, crackles, and hum from vinyl records. Start playback and adjust the click and crackle removal slider until it's removing the clicks and crackles as desired. Use the lowest possible setting that eliminates them. If your recording contains electrical hum, click the 50 Hz or 60 Hz hum removal button. Happy with your settings, click the Clean button. Keep in mind that cleaning your recordings is optional. Tracks can be defined either manually or automatically. Both methods are useful. To use automatic mode, just click the Automatically Define Tracks button, and then click the OK button to create separate tracks. Automatic mode is best for use on typical, commercially produced LPs or cassettes, which have a clearly defined break between the tracks. Try using the default settings first, as they work quite well on many types of audio content. The auto defined track setting allows you to vary how the number of tracks and spaces between them are detected. Zoom in so you can see the first track's end marker and the second track's begin marker. These should appear back to back in the silent area between the first two songs. If they aren't in quite the right place, you can drag the track markers forward or backward until they are. Depending on the audio and your settings, some areas may be detected as individual tracks when they're actually part of another track. These can easily be deleted and the actual track's markers can be moved into the right positions. You can also define tracks manually by simply selecting part of the waveform and then clicking the Define Selection as New Track button. This is perfect for live concert recordings or continuous play DJ mixes which have no track breaks for SoundSaver for import to detect. When working with this type of audio content, be sure that your track markers are placed back to back with no spaces between them. If you've only recorded a single song or prefer not to define separate tracks, you can move on to the export screen. We're almost done and just need to choose an output format. MP3 files can be imported into other programs or loaded onto portable media players and mobile phones. When exporting MP3 files, you can choose to add embedded ID3 tags, which allow the artist, track name, album name, and other info to appear automatically in other applications. The iTunes export option is handy if you wish to transfer files to an iPod, iPad, or iPhone. Wave file export creates high-resolution uncompressed wave files which can be burned to CD or used in other audio or video editing programs. Finally, you can also save as a SoundSaver for import project file, so you can edit it later or transfer it to another computer. Once you've selected your output format, click the export button. When you're done, you can simply quit SoundSaver for import. It automatically saves all your work as you go.